So, I'm a bit on the fence on how good I think this game is going to be. But let's just jump into it. Let's see what the world is like. See how much interacting there is. Let's jump into this. Death March, here we go. Music is very um, powerful in this game. All the screams and the. <laughs> I mean, I do a bad job of it, but that's like. That's my impression. <laughs> so, this is where we. We're up to. Looks like it's quick from the cinematic. This is the game now. This is like a flashback, back to um, when things were all happy and peaceful, and there was no wars going on. Geralt's chilling in the bath. Look at them textures, some of them shiny feet. What's that? Ugh. Did it bite him? find that amusing. So I've heard as well, there's a lot of nakedness in this game as well, like a lot of boobies and bums. There's a bum. Not disappointed yet. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. <sighs> you promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. He slashed up, and he. So I think witches may be immortal to some degree, and um, he would have been dead by now. So, later then. Mm. See you later. Has he got a fair nipple. I 
I think that's the woman in the cutscene that he was looking for. On the battlefield. Yeah, she's got the long black hair. And the necklace. That seems to have given her powers last time. It's pretty good um, graphics on the faces, isn't it? It looks like when you see Skyrim mods and they uh, make it look like realistic. It's kind of what it reminds me of. So, welcome to the tutorial. Tutorial, tutorial will introduce the game's game's core elements. Each message will be saved in the glossary, which is basic stuff. Um, so, we've got the mini-map up there, top right, the objectives on the, below it. So our objective is, use our Witcher sensors to find the key to the bedroom door. So we've locked ourselves in the bedroom, have we? So we can use the Witcher sensors by holding L2, it kind of highlights things that have, are in, of interest. Like that's glowing red, so we approach it. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Alright. So let's find this key. And there's the key. Awesome. So to unlock doors, walk up to them and press X. So this is the door to the bedroom. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna open the doors. Alright, so um she said that we were gonna train with someone. We promised she said Siri. We promised, promised Siri we would, we would train with her. And it um, seems like we may be late on this training. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Siri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Quite a pretty castle, isn't it? Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. Why? Time to wake up, master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too. Damn it! After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick. No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice. She'll get to practice. And yeah, we've spoiled her. Don't get mad at her. Yeah. Gotta Whatever. admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Oh, she's running along these poles. Wrong. That's quite impressive. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Oh. I'll go catch. Pirouette. You're not in the circus pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Isn't that what they do in the circus? Like a pirouette's like a spin, isn't it? Like ballet. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? Alright. Take off the blindfold. Yeah. It's quite impressive though. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Noel 
world, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Um, better not happen again? Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Um, this is a tutorial of basics of how to run. So I'm going to skip this because I want to get into the story as quick as possible. I don't want to play around, you know, learning, learning the game. Because I've played this bit before, just to get a hang, this hang of the aim. Um, Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. Of the controls. So I'm not a complete noob. Because when I did start playing, like, off recording, I was a complete noob. When it came to the combat, the first battle, I died like five times in a row. <laughs> it was bad. That guy's face is a bit messed up. So are these all witches, or not? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. She's a smart ass, isn't she? I've got a feeling that all witches have white hair. Because I know he is a witcher. The guy that's talking is a witcher. And she... Is she no, she's not his daughter, is she? But She said for a witcher before, so I think she is a witcher. It seems like they have white hair then. Because um, she said he was asleep. I so I can say won't read a lot of this. Could have said you did the exercise while Vesemir was asleep. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir works. <laughs> well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Alright, this is another tutorial coming up. I'm going to skip it again, just because um, I have done it before, so... It just shows you the basic combats, how to use your spells and stuff, how to block, how to roll, dodge. So Let's I'm gonna skip, skip it. To free training. No point going over the basics again. So this takes us straight into the next cutscene. Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. What the? There's blood. The body inside. Whoa. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? But the honor will take this and the white wolf. No. Hmm. I think game Geralt lacks a lot of emotion. I mean, the subtitle there said no, but he went 
No. As if, like, he was like, someone asked him, do you want someone to drink? No. <laughs> it's just like, come on, mate. Get a bit more into it. He's not very passionate in his voice. So that was like a dream, it seems. He's woke up now from that what just happened. And it kind of ended the way dreams do end. Where you're, like, stuck in mud. You all right? <laughs> A nightmare. Yeah, it was a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. I dreamt of Kaer Mohan. Really not talk about it. Rather not talk about it. Let's tell him about the dream. I started in the guest room at Kaer Morhen. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. So Yennefer is the woman that we're actually looking for. And that wasn't the dream. So then we train with Siri, where we will. Not worried about that. That's about finding her. And let's just talk about tr training with Siri. Just continue the story. In the dream. I went and found Siri. And then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she devil. <laughs> That's what you said in the dream. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Siri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Siri in my dreams might mean she's in no, that's bollocks. It's just a dream, mate. If she yeah, conscious playing on you playing tricks on you. Ain't time to go. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. <laughs> we must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizina. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Um, that's private. Well, stuffed unicorn we used to use. We used it as a bed once. What? Let's talk about this. <laughs> stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. Certain situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. The trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Should be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. So this is our first bit of combat. Um, life on the continent and in the Skellige Isles is nasty, British and shores, war lays waste to the land, and those at Spurs live in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Bloody well, monsters are shown with silver health bars with the heads, this indicates that you need to use a silver sword. Um, let's go. So this is the combat, um, this is my signs, I'll show you guys quickly. We've got a magic trap which slows enemies on the ground, that's like a shield for us to wear. You can use fire to shoot them with. You can influence their minds like mind control, and you can push them back like a stun. I'm going to stick with the shield for now, because we are playing on the hardest difficulty, so damn, enemies do do quite a lot of damage. So it's good to have the shield on. I'm going to equip that, and um, there we go, he hit me, <laughs> he got rid of the shield already. Um, just Let's just um, take these guys on. So we're using the silver sword because these are monsters. And... Um, I'm going to equip the shield again because it's gone off. 
You see in the top left, there's like a little yellow bar filling up. That's when I can use my next sign ability again, like my, my next to magic ability. And um, you can't always... You can only use it when the bar fills up. But once you've used it, the, the bar starts filling up again. So my shield just got knocked off there. So I can equip it again now because the bar's filled up while I was waiting. So um, it's quite a good sign to use this one. Especially on this difficulty because of the damage the enemies deal. You can keep yourself... Um, quite healthy. So he's just knocked off again. There's quite a lot of enemies here. This is quite tough for your first battle because there is quite like it's like about five or six enemies in this fight. Uh, we, got, we killed one. Put the shield back on. Let's finish these guys off. I like to aim in the combat as well. You can roll like this or you can just dodge. I think dodging is better because you can get into the fight quicker as well. You know, you don't roll too far away. I mean, these enemies are quite. Oh God, hit me there. They're quite easy because um, they don't seem to block. See, once you get them like on back and up, you can keep hitting them over and over again. And also, you can tell when an enemy's going to hit you because the health bar highlights red. This guy's just running away. There we go. We took his head off there. And also, we've got adrenaline points. Striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities. You can acquire, allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you are not engaged in combat. Alright. Um, vitality regeneration. So, it says there, note. While playing on the blood and broken bones and death march difficulty levels, like we're playing on death march, meditation does not regenerate health. So, um, we only way we can get health is by being out of combat and regenerating health or using food. So it's telling us there we can use um, up or down to use br up for bre bread and down for water. You can see in the bottom left which one's which. And then we can also loot these bodies. These just drop like random bits. Uh, like they got venom extracts because they're ghouls. So um, for now though we'll jump on a horse. We'll leave these guys behind. Um, it's just telling us how to use the horse there. Because you can brew potions from their blood. <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders. As soon as he wins the war. Believe that? Hmm. Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. So we're getting into the, the nearest village so we can get some rest in. in. So it seems like we have been sleeping, like camping. Help me! Help! This guy's in trouble. What was that? Vicious, isn't it? It's just dripping blood out of his mouth. No, he's not leaving that behind, is he? There's a lot of meat on there. So that's like a big bird, isn't it? I need a haircut. Or a better haircut. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. But griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you'd... You'd like a reward, I suppose. Well, if you're offering, yeah, sure. You always... You don't owe us a thing. We could use a few crowns. Well, I'm gonna take the coin. Seeing as he got his offering, could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment. Nilfgaardians requisitioned my goods, 
Now this. Here. 50. Is that a lot? Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there. Muddled. You seek someone? Um, yeah, a woman. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Alright, so she was last seen heading towards the tavern. And also, beastery. You can click on this now and it opens up the glossary. We can go down to the beastery and this will tell us about our enemies and what they're vulnerable against. So, um. We can see griffins, which is what we just seen. We didn't actually fight it. They're weak against grape shot bombs, um, hybrid oil, which is you can apply to your sword to do extra damage. And, um. The sign Ard, which is the pushback one. So, um. They're known as hybrids. This is the hybrid category, Griffins. Necrophages, which is ghouls are in that category. That's the only enemies we've faced so far. So, uh, the more you face enemies, the more that glossary will fill up and you'll be able to learn more and know the weaknesses of different enemy types. So, a griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. The Temerian lilies, they've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. It must be white hair, it means you're a witcher, because they recognised that I was a witcher instantly. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. You get no respect as a witch, do you? <laughs> Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm-hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. But there's no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be a service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Um, okay, options marked with that symbol will open the shop panel. You can say... Looking for a woman. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Alright. 
So dialogue options marked with that symbol will end the conversation. Um, let's ask about the griffin. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll leave the conversation for now. Thanks. For everything. For everything? She didn't really tell us much. She told us that there's people travelling that we could speak to. That's it. About Yennefer. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Yeah. Alright guys, we're going to end the video here. Um, we got quite a good instruction there to the story. Um, got a bit of combat out of the way. And in the next video we'll probably be able to do a lot more exploring of the, the world. Seeing as we just settled in. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.